Okay, let's look at the third part of uh, Lab 3, and it'll be the, the drawing you see on the lower left-hand corner of the, uh, of the print. So we'll probably, I think on this one we'll start, we can either start in the upper left-hand corner or lower left-hand corner. Uh, it doesn't much matter. We'll, I guess we'll start uh, in this upper left-hand corner. That's where most of the dimensions emanate from, so we'll start there. So to do that, the first thing I'm going to do is draw a rectangle that is two and a half wide and four inches tall. So I'll go to the rectangle command up here. Again, if you see the mouse here, we're up in this corner right here of the draw uh, ribbon. So we'll go and hit the uh, rectangle command and we're going to start at zero comma zero just like we always do. And how much do we want to go to the right? We want to go 2.5 comma, how much do we want to go uh, actually down, so down is minus 4, enter, so there's our, our basic envelope, so we'll zoom in on that, so that is from this corner to here, to here, to there, and back up, now that's all one object, okay, so we can see that, that's a polyline, and if we do a list on that, let's do a list, and pick that box and we'll see that sure enough it's a polyline okay and there's all that it does tell the perimeter which might be of some use to you if you were doing a math problem so we'll get that out of there now what you might want to do is explode that and we'll explode that one time and now we'll note that if we do a list each one of those is its own line segment so there's the line, and that tells you everything you need to know about that line. So each of those are individual now. Well, let's see. The next thing I'm going to do is let's, uh, let's go in here and draw this circle. Now, we know we, on a circle we need to know its center location, and the center location in this case is over 2 and a half and down a half. The diameter is 1 inch, so half of that would be 1 half inch. What I want to do is show you a new modifier here. So I want to do a circle, and if I do shift right click and bring up my modifier uh, pop-up menu, there's one here called from, and what this does is it allows me to transparently move zero zero right over here just for this one click and use that as a reference. So I'm going to reference this endpoint, and it wouldn't have to be an end point, it could be a midpoint a center, any, anything you need there. But I'm going to make this zero, 0, just for this one click. Now relative to that, use the at symbol, relative to that, 0 in the x minus 0.5 in the y. So it allows me to use this point as a reference and then go ahead and use this as my, my center point. Then I'm just going to click on this end point right here because I had defined the radius when I said go relative to this point go down a half inch I just defined the radius of that circle so I was able to snap the end point of that circle to get that circle in its right location so if we do a list on that we'll see that the radius on that is a half inch now you can do one better if we double click that that circle that will bring up the properties toolbar and what you can notice on that then is it's got a raise of a half but even more importantly maybe in this case its diameter is one inch you can see that right off without having to do a math so that's kinda nice that's a quick properties you could also click on that and right click and go to properties or quick properties properties is a little bit more detailed so you can see all kinds of stuff there and you can make changes to that at this point. We could change the color of that if we wanted to. Make it red. Hit escape and, ch and close that and you can see that it's red. So again, right click properties. I'm going to put that back to by layer. That's what we normally are. And close that and hit escape. So reference from. If I had just gone and clicked on it, it automatically puts that at the center. 
But if I go in there and say reference from this endpoint, it'll allow me to put it anywhere I want at, let's say, one uh, comma zero. So it puts it out there. Well, if I did that, I don't need to do that, but if I did that, you'll note that that just made the radius of that circle one inch, which is twice the size of this one. So that's just how that reference from works. Okay, so then I'm going to go in there and uh, put my hexagon in. So we'll do polygon, six sides, enter. I want the center of this. Now be careful, if you go too far over, it's going to go to the end point. So stay out here or over here, snaps to the center. Again, we want it circumscribed because the dimension is across the flats. And we want that to be half of the 435. Well, half of 4 is 0.2, isn't it? Half of 35 is 17 uh, and a half, right? 17 and a half. Enter. So if we do a measure on that and measure from this endpoint to that endpoint, we see that the delta Y is 435. So what we did was correct. So you don't always have to have a calculator. Half of 400 is 200, half of 35 is 17 and a half. Okay, so we have all that. So now what we might choose to do is do a mirror of that, but I would suggest that we would go ahead and put in one of these corners, whether it be the top or the bottom, doesn't matter. Put one of the corners in and then do our mirror. So let's go ahead and put, uh, we'll put the corner in at the bottom. I want to illustrate something here. It says 2 times 0.375. That means it happens here and down here. 2 times 375 here and there. So essentially these corners are the same size. So I'm going to put in a circle. And I'm going to say reference from this endpoint relative to that 0.375 in the x, 0.375 in the y. The diameter of one of them is a half inch. And that comes from this number right here. Okay, that's the, the total width of that. The other one is a quarter of an inch. So we'll repeat the command. Snap to the center. Diameter, 0.25. Okay, now for the next trick, what we're going to do is we don't want to draw these lines. So I'm going to draw a line. Shift, right click from the tangent of this line, or excuse me, of that circle, sorry, relative to that, any distance you want, angle 225. So I just put this line in. When I said angle 225, it had to go. I said tangent first, and then I said 225, so it had to go down this way, and it's tangent to that arc. So that's all I really need on that. So let me do it again. So I'm going to go line, shift, right click, tangent to this arc right here. Now if I had picked over here, it'll do the same thing, but it's a little bit different. Relative to that, I'm just going to go one inch this time, angle, 225. So it does the same thing. But it's on the bottom this time because I said make a tangent to this side, not that side. Okay, that, obviously that's too long, but um, <clears throat> I'll just leave that for now. So now I want to offset. Well, the offset value from here to here is the difference between the half inch and the quarter inch divided by 2. So uh, that's going to be an eighth of an inch, 0.125. So I want to go this way one time, and I'm just going to keep going. I want to go here to there, here to there, and here to there. I don't need the one through the center. I just use that so I can keep going with the eighth inch increments. Okay, then I want to go in and trim to this line, enter, pick a window around these two, takes care of that. Enter. Enter again repeats the command. I want to trim to this line. These two lines. Enter. Enter again repeats the command. I want to 
trim between these two, enter. I want to trim that out, that, and that. And then I want to trim between these two, this, and that. Whoops, I missed one there, didn't I? Between these two lines, I want to uh, trim that out. Okay, so that takes care of that. Of course, I probably ought to hit the save button now, shouldn't I? Okay, so the reason I wanted to show you that is uh, I now want to go in there and mirror, but I, I want to show you that I can mirror two different objects even though they're going opposite directions. This will still work. So I'm going to mirror, and I want these two objects here. So I'm going to put a window there, and I want all of these right here. Enter. Now I want to go from the midpoint, so shift, right click, midpoint of this line. I can't go to the midpoint of this line because this line is shorter now. But I can do shift, right click, perpendicular to there. And it flips this one up here and this one down here. You're mirroring about the same axis. Now I need to go in there and do a trim between this line and this line I need to trim out this and that and then finally I'll go ahead and trim between this circle and this circle I want to trim this out and that out I'm going to take this out eventually but what I want to do is use that to create this arc here now let's look into the arc command here a little bit you can see you've got all kinds of different arcs you can do three points, and if you pick three points, it'll go between them. In fact, I'm going to do a video on this one command by itself, I think. But in this case, what I might want to use, I can use the start center end. I could use start center angle. I know the angle wants to be 180. I might use center start end. Realize center start end is similar to start center end, but you're just picking the points in a different order. So in, in this case, if I go center start end, I'll pick that, and it wants to know the center. Look down here at the bottom. Oh, let's see, yes, yeah, specify the center point of the arc. Shift, right click, midpoint of this line. Then what, it asks me for the start point. Shift, right click, I want the quadrant. Oh, I wouldn't have had to go quadrant. I could have gone end point of the line, couldn't I? To this end point right here and there's my arc. So now I can check that. I'll double, I'll get rid of that. But if I do a list and pick that arc, it should be a radius of 1. And it is. It starts at 90 and goes to 270. And there's the length of the arc. But more importantly, the radius is 1 and that's what we were asking for here. So that's the end of this particular uh, application here as well. So I'll hit, this, hit the Save button to get that in there. Double click the middle button and that gets me the uh, zoom extents. I'll take these and maybe move them in a little bit. So I'll hit one of the grips, bring it in over here. Let's see now that actually is up in here on the blueprint and, it, and we'll get this one, bring it in put it up here somewhere maybe right there would be just as well double click the middle button and that zoom extent hit save and that's the end of uh, of lab 3